How's it going, friends? Today we're making another burger from the Boss Burgers Burger Book. From season three, episode 13, titled Lindependent Woman. The Don't You For Cheddar About Me Burger. Considering the rest of these burgers, this one is pretty traditional. It reminds me of a regular cheeseburger for the most part. As the name of the burger suggests, it's going to be a burger that utilizes a lot of cheddar cheese. White cheddar, sharp yellow cheddar, some horseradish cheddar. It's gonna get super cheddarific. It's gonna get cheesy up in here. And I'm not just talking about the burger. I'm talking about my humor. I'm talking about my personality. And that's just the way it is. Uh, Linda, what is he talking about? So let's get started. Let's do some prep work. And then, you know, let's try to create a burger that'll make Bob Belcher proud per usual. And one that makes us proud because at the end of the day, we're gonna be the ones that eat it. So let's get started and let's have a good old merry time. I am ready. As someone who is ignorant of the vast world of cheese, it always blows my mind just how many variations of cheese there actually are in this universe. I say universe because you just know that somewhere out there, there is a planet that's dedicated to the stuff. Sometimes the universe decides, you know? Can you imagine everything in your life revolving around cheese? I mean, for a long time, people thought the moon was made out of cheese. Or maybe that's just 1950s early morning cartoon propaganda. Either way, I think it's safe to say that cheese is making me very hungry. Teddy, do you have anything to tide us over? It's a cabbage soup that's supposed to heal the body. I got the recipe from a pop-up ad. I just put in my social security number and there it was. It smells wild. So, I actually really like horseradish. But I've never had horseradish cheddar cheese before. Wow, that's actually uh, really good. That's gonna be excellent on the patty. With that said, it's back to the regular scheduled programming. Let's prep this onion. It's getting late and we've already had so much fun. Speaking of fun, let's prep these onions. I know there is nothing I would rather be doing on my Saturday. Unfortunately, due to filming while I'm cooking, I can get a little careless and end up breaking up some of these perfect rings. Not the end of the world, but a little embarrassing. We all mess up sometimes though. I was embarrassed to tell you that I bit myself in my sleep. I used to do it in my 20s. And then I get in my 30s, and now apparently it's back. So the prep is done, it was no big deal. Now we can move on to the actual cooking process of the video. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to actually cook up a couple pieces of bacon over in our cast iron skillet. And then we're gonna prep our patty and then cook it in the remaining bacon fat in the same pan, which sounds delicious and I know it will be, so let's go do it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Thunderdome, AKA my stovetop in the kitchen, a place where it truly goes down just like this oil. And with that rousing speech, we march to our Deaths. The reason I am cooking the bacon on a cast iron pan is so that I can use all that rendered fat to cook my patty here in a bit. If that doesn't sound delicious, then come find me so we can fight or something. I love cooking bacon. The sound, the smell, it just fills me with so much joy. And if I wasn't following the recipe, I would definitely try to candy this bacon right up. This is bull. I want candy. I'm a kid. It's not like I can just go out and buy it whenever I want. On to the next step, which is actually prepping our patty using the method of getting the meat into a somewhat compact ball and then seasoning it like it hasn't paid rent for three months. Call that the landlord special. I'm not exactly sure what I mean by that, but I am going to shove tiny bits of our cheese into our meats before hitting it with a classic combination of flaky salt and ground pepper. This is looking good. Life changing perhaps? Our old lives were garbage. With everything before us, we can begin mixing it all together before rolling it around the cutting board to pick up that remaining seasoning and to make sure it's coated pretty evenly. After a quick glance, I think I can say I'm pretty happy with it, like something out of a dream. Oh, it's real, I'm pretty sure. I'm convinced. Now that everything is prepped, let's relax and finish cooking this patty. Let the vibes be vibey. How easy it would be to fall for you. But that of course is something I won't do. Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing more than friends How silly it would be To put this friendship to an end How crazy that would be yet This burger is coming together perfectly. They said it couldn't be done and maybe I was even washed up. But I think this guy the real deal. Almost finished, and we really just need to throw together a quick sauce that is comprised of some popular ingredients, such as mustard, mayo, and ketchup, with a touch of hot sauce. 
I went with ghost pepper. I don't know what you call this combination, but it's really good. But whatever you call it, it's allegedly extremely dangerous and allegedly out for blood, wreaking alleged havoc on our quiet little community, allegedly. Let's give it a quick stir, and that's pretty much it. Now we can take a moment to build our burger and make it look good, starting with the bottom bun, followed by a handful of crunchy lettuce. Then we come in with our cheesy patty, followed by a nice layer of our burger sauce, Top it with a couple slices of bacon, then a few slices of onion, and then complete with the top bun. It's cheesy, it's looking good, it's the whole package. And away we go. The burger has been built. We have conquered another burger of the day. Today, we have conquered the cheddar burger. It looks good, it smells good. It's a pretty stacked burger. I mean, we've got a lot of layers here. There's gonna be some saltiness from the bacon, some creaminess from the sauce and the cheese. And I think it's just gonna be a salty, savory burger. Only way to really know is to take a bite, which I'm going to do. Bon appetit. Someone needs to be swaddled. As you can tell from my reaction, it absolutely sucks. Just kidding. It's another really solid burger. It's a really good solid cheeseburger with bacon. And that tangy acidic horseradish comes in and it just blends it all together and gives it enough uniqueness that'll get you to come back and make it another time. So what would I rate it? Coming in with an eight out of 10, it's not the most special burger in the world, but I think it's one that will be universally liked. Basic, but effective. Not the most unusual, not the most complex, but another banger, another great burger. The burger book never really lets us down. And today is another case of it just being solid. So, so bravo to the burger book, bravo to us. And thank you for coming back and watching another video. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button for the algorithm, I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you. I hope you guys stay positive throughout the year. Have a really good one, have a great day. I'll catch you guys next time, peace. Thanks for feasting with me today. And please subscribe if you liked what you saw.